I mean an intimate acquaintance where it grows into a one love. Where he and I are so forged together, you can't find where he quits and I begin, and you can't find where I quit and he begin. But one songwriter wrote, I'm wrapped up, tied up, and tangled all up in Jesus. I've got so deep in I can't see the exit sign anymore. I mean by that, I have never have looked for a place to get out. I've done a lot of rebellious things. I've done a lot of things that were wrongful and some of them downright sinful. But I never have put my foot so far across that line that I didn't know how to turn right back to him when I needed to. But once you get a good taste of this wonderful love of God, it's impossible for you to say, I'm just going to walk away from it and never go back to it anymore. Oh, David said, if I take the wings of the morning and fly away, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, thou art there. Glory to God. Whither shall I go from thee and whither shall I hide from thy presence? Hallelujah. And so this is what we're being called into. We're being called as a people of God to take our place, not above Him or under Him or around Him, but in Him. When, when God got ready to give Adam a bride, He reached within Him. Oh, hallelujah. Pulled out that rib. And brother, when God got ready to present Christ with a bride, He reached in His side on Calvary, and out him came blood and water. Glory to God. I'm born of the water and the Spirit tonight. Glory chosen in Him, you see. And so the, the, the whole story begins with probably what would be the, the highest note of the whole song. Let Him kiss me. <laughs> with the kisses of His mouth. I won't say to you tonight that this whole story is an on intimacy. And to enter into the secret chamber of the Lord and to know Him. Your prayer life and private communion with the Lord cannot always be you wanting or needing That's something. Right. That's true. Your greatest need is Jesus. That's right. <laughs> My greatest need is the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't care if I've got a sick body. I don't care if I've got... 14 bills due tomorrow morning. My greatest need is the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. In thy presence there is fullness of joy. And at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these other things they will be added unto you. You may think that you need a hundred dollars tonight. But I can tell you what you need above that. You need the Lord. You need His presence. You need His Spirit. You need His anointing. And more than all of even those things, you need a relationship stable enough that you walk in Him. You live in Him. You move in Him. Our prayer needs to turn from away from being Lord, give me this or that, to Jesus, reveal your whole self. Hallelujah to me that I may love you even more fervently than what I love you with tonight. May I walk this temple as the Son of Man walked in it and the disciples say of me, the seal of thine house hath eaten me up. Glory to God. You know what that's to say? It's to say your love has consumed me. Your passion has overcome me. Oh, I used to think on my own, but I'm so sick of your love tonight that I can't even think on my own. I must have Him make the decision for me because I'm so overcome and overwhelmed, hallelujah, by His presence that I no longer function in my own abilities. And when we start getting into this, we feel Him pulling it all away, don't we? And it's like we ain't got a grip on anything anymore. And we think that's the devil and it ain't. It's the Lord. It's the Spirit's Word. He is taking away the little foxes. Hallelujah. Ooh. Oh, I tell you, I get there about more anointed to talk about this book than any other one. I said, He's taking away the little foxes. 
that are spoiling our minds. In fact, friend, you love so dear is always getting in the way of your time with the Lord. Don't worry. He'll let, them, he'll let you have a falling out with them. They won't want you no more. You won't want them no more. Woo! I'm not on the whole side. Glory! Yes. Hallelujah! You try to date them boys or girls or men or women that don't think to God, that won't anything to do with God, don't worry about it. He'll take them foxes. Pretty soon, here you go, having a fight. And you think my whole world's crumbling. Only to find a few weeks later, when you do enter back in and the love of God spills over into your soul and right there in the midst of that what you thought was what was trauma you're shaking and crying and the power of God's all over you and you'll turn your heart right yes. towards Him and say, Jesus, I love you for loving me enough not to leave me to myself when I'm being destructive. Yes. But you love me enough that even when I hate you for what you do to me, you hang right over there till I get sweet again. My God, what a mighty God is here. Angels bow before Him, heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God is He. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, sir. This is what we're called into. Let Him kiss me with the kisses of His mouth. There comes a point within the believer's life when he is no longer satisfied with the head knowledge of the Lord. There's an experience, a revealing, a manifestation that must take place. A coming together as one. Your life must become so intertwined in Him that you never see them separated again. In other words, I must come, hallelujah, to the place where it's impossible for me to even think of my life outside of Christ. It just doesn't even enter my mind. The people that got saved so they reserved the right to backslide never did get born again yet. Right. You get this thing for real and you don't hold no rights to get out. How can you get out of it? He bought you. He redeemed you with His own blood. You can't break that contract. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, when, when this bride cries out, let Him kiss me with the kisses of His mouth, she is asking, now listen, this is the kiss that comes after the kiss of reconciliation. You remember in Psalms chapter 2 it says, kiss the Son lest He be angry with you and you perish in the way. Huh? Well, the only thing that can make you perish in the way would be what? Sin. The wages of sin is death. Perishing death is the same, one and the same. So we have the, 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 the thought now that since we've been kissed with the kiss of reconciliation, we can lose our fear of falling away from Him. Because He that saved me is able to keep me from falling. Hallelujah. I don't live a day of my life wondering if I'll backslide. I know I can't backslide. You won't like me saying that because you believe you can, but I know I can't. Huh? Because I don't intend on making no jumps. And if I 